Welcome to Winona State University. I'm Jim Gardner. Here today we are going to go through the date of Joshua Worlds and Emma Stupke. But first we caught up with Josh earlier in the week to see if Emma was the right one for him. He went through three strategies. Let's check it out. The first strategy Joshua uses is called the passive strategy, defined as impression formation by observing a person interacting with others. Excuse me. Oh my god. Hi. I hear you two are friends with Emma Suki, is this true? Who are you? That is irrelevant. I have a few questions for you. What's your favorite food? As you can see, Joshua is now using his second strategy called the active strategy to find impression formation by asking a third party about a person, in this case, Emma Stupke. Josh was now using his third and final strategy, called the interactive strategy, defined as impression formation through face-to-face -face discussion with a person. Using his smooth words, Josh was successful in asking Emma on a date, where we will now take you live, straight from the PAC. I got this. It's smooth. As Josh preps himself with his date with Emma using message plans, defined as mental representations of action sequences that may be used to achieve his goals. Joshua now strolls in looking good as ever with his date with Emma at the most romantic place in Winona, the second floor of the PAC overlooking campus. It does not get any more fancy than this, folks. We can only hope this date goes well for him. Now arriving casually late is Emma Stupke. And that could not have been any more awkward, folks. This could be hard to watch. So, uh, what are your feelings about alpacas? I don't know. They're just... They're alpacas. No, no I just, uh, I raised... I raised three in my basement. That is one thing you do not want to say. I'm just, uh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, I didn't raise alpacas. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm, no, I'm kidding. It's a joke. It's a joke. Even after using hedging and taking back his last statement, we are seeing nothing but awkward silence, folks. That's a beautiful tree. Yeah. I love the I leaves. Know. It's so beautiful. I know. Pretty like foliage. the red. Yeah. And the leaves. And the color of the bark is just impeccable. Uh, I love an ash tree. It's such a beautiful tree. The color of the wood and the bark is just, oh, it's wonderful. What's your favorite tree? I like pine trees. Pine tree. I love the smell. It's like my favorite in the winter time. I can agree with that. Pine tree is just... We are finally seeing some effective communication between Joshua and Emma, and also some mindfulness where Josh is open to new information about pine trees. This could be good. Folks, things are really starting to kick off here between Joshua and Emma. Let's just hope Josh can finish this thing strong. Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? A little bit. It does not get any smoother than that, folks. He is just a freshman. Unbelievable turnaround by Joshua Worlds. So, uh, how would you feel about maybe going on a second date? Yeah, we yeah. totally should. Awesome. All right. Well, I'll see you later. Yeah, I'll see you around. Go ahead and tell everybody. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. I'm here with Joshua Worlds after his first date with Emma Stupke. Josh, it got off to a rough start at first, but you ended it with a bang. Can you explain to us your predicted value outcome after this date? Well, first of all, I want to say, you know, I went out there, gave it 100%, gave it my all. You know, I'm really happy about the outcome. Well, there you have it, folks. Everything is good in Joshua's world. <laughs>